On Wednesday, May 25th, 350.org, ClimateTruth.org, and other groups organized a rally outside the Exxon shareholders meeting in Dallas, Texas, to push Exxon to take responsibility for its climate deception. Late last year, Inside Climate News revealed that Exxon had known about the climate risks posed by its products since the mid-20th century, and it lied to shareholders and investors about them. As early as 1968, Exxon had been warned that if fossil fuel-related carbon kept building up in the atmosphere, humanity would have to reckon with potentially catastrophic global warming. Here's an example of how precise their science was. Brian Flannery, Exxon's top climate scientist, warned in 1985 that unless carbon dioxide emissions were curtailed, we could face up to 6 degrees Celsius temperature increases by the end of the 21st century. That estimate remains in line with today's estimates. Exxon knew. And not only did they hide these facts from their shareholders and the public, but they actively funded climate denial groups and politicians who paralyzed virtually every effort in the last 40 years to curtail fossil fuel use and mitigate climate change. My name is Anna Kalinske. I came to Dallas today to speak at the Exxon shareholders meeting on behalf of climatetruth.org. My grandfather in 1977 gave a presentation to Exxon board members saying that burning fossil fuels was causing an increase in carbon dioxide, this was going to have a big effect on the environment, and saying that at the time mankind had about five to ten years to start making those big critical decisions to deal with this before things could start getting really bad. And again, this was about 40 years ago. And he gave a series of these talks in 1977 and 1978. So Exxon was aware. Anna was joined by Renee Boschert, a resident of Wimberley, Texas, who faced floods caused in large part by climate change. A year ago today, on Memorial Weekend, my home was destroyed uh, in Wimberley, Texas by the catastrophic flooding that destroyed 400 homes, 11 people perished um, in that event. And um, I feel that it was a result of climate change. The Texas state climatologist looking at the event said that climate change probably, I mean, they could never can say totally definitively, but he was willing to say that it contributed to the event, the severity of the event. So since then, I've been doing everything I can to keep climate change in the news, in the discussion, to say it's not something that's in the future, it's something that's happening now. Both Anna and Renee reported rude reactions when they spoke at the Exxon shareholder meeting, including shareholders muttering under their breath about Anna and Renee needing to go sit down or go home. Well, we're not going to sit down, and we're not going home. This week's action showed that people are through letting Exxon control our future. Help us keep the momentum going. Share this video with your friends and visit exxonnew.org for more information about how you can get involved. Thanks for watching.